Mary story. Third question. <laughs> and then your deduction, please. Mrs. White, you'd have quite a lot to lose, wouldn't you? If uh, Mrs. Peacock had married the Count. Why? Well, I suppose I might have. As he was keen to divert all her money to his own charities. And you know where they begin. <laughs> your deduction, please. And remember, who committed the murder with what weapon and in which room? I think it was Mrs. White. Why? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Never. 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 Yes. I've with... been with Mrs. Peacock for 25 years. <laughs> with the kitchen knife. Study? Yes. In the study. So you're saying that it's Mrs. White with the kitchen knife in the study. Yes. I have to tell you you're wrong on all three of those no, assumptions. Ah, right. oh, well done, well done. <laughs> so those elements are eliminated from further inquiry. <laughs> and the advantage now passes to Nanette and Mike. Your first question, please. Well, um, I would like to ask you, Professor Plum, during the time you were running, were you aware of where the Reverend was? I was rather towards the end. I think uh, it was a confused I situation. I didn't see him. I think it was a confused you didn't situation. See him. No, not at all. Oh, right. Thank Your you. second question. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Uh, we'd like to ask Mrs. White. Uh, yes. We saw you at the window I'm looking. Sorry. Did you see the end of the race? Were no, you still at I the didn't. window? No, because I was watching uh, uh, the, uh, the so called cult and I noticed that he came in and I didn't wish him to see me, so I secreted myself behind the curtains. <laughs> um, well, I, uh, Mrs. Peacock, uh, could I find out why you decided to change your will quite suddenly? This is... I thought these people were my friends. I have not changed my will. The cop was conning I you, realized mother. That the this, third world you must realise this is a very important. distressing evening I, I, for yes, some of the I... people here. Your deduction, please. We think it's Colonel Mustard. Colonel Mustard. We're highly suspicious. Yeah. Yeah. No way. Well, well, we, was... With his background in the SAS, we imagine that he would use a knife. He is above murder. In, in the dining room. In the dining room. <laughs> so you're saying it's Colonel Mustard with the knife in the dining room? Yes. Yeah. You're right on one of those assumptions. So, there you have it for the moment. Two sets of deductions. Oh, yeah, no. But before we go on, I want to put that same evidence to our grand jury, the 300 members of our studio audience here. Now, you've seen the clues, you've heard the suspects, and you've heard our detective. What's your verdict? This is your chance to put your finger on the guilty party. So please make your decision now. And that's how you decided. Uh, one in four of you, 24%, pointed the finger at Colonel Mustard. Yeah. But one in three, 30%, said quite assuredly, it was Vivian Scarlett. Yeah. Join us in a couple of moments when we will indeed reveal the identity of the person who murdered the French Count.
Welcome back. So, a murdered fake French count with, we now know, five possible murder weapons in five rooms at Arlington Grange. And now that Mrs. White has been eliminated, the certainty that one of the five remaining suspects is the murderer. And this moment, the finger of suspicion is pointing very clearly at Vivian Scarlett. Oh. Yeah. But before I invite our detective to make a fresh deduction, some fascinating new evidence. Evidence that could help you reach a decision, or maybe put you...